I wish I was out there with y'all right now. Trust me. The same way I wish I was out there, I wish I was out there. My family wish I was out there. I wish I was with them. Man, listen here. K Flock done gave up the gang life. Gave it up. He really put a smile on my face, man, when I heard him talk. K Flock calls from jail, does a short interview with Hocus 4 Fifth. The boy talking, man. He talking like he got some sense now, man, you know? He's facing life. You guys know that his murder charges in New York. The feds picked up the case, and so now he's in the feds. Not too long ago, we saw K Flock, you know, flexing on video, you know, doing his thing in jail. It looked like he was still with the BS, right? But I've been watching him. I noticed he was moving different. He stopped following Dougie. He needs help too. He's another one we need to reach and try to help. Because that kid is really depressed. He's really going through it, man. I don't want to say the words, but you already know when you get lonely, what happens up top? You start feeling like you want to do stuff to yourself. And that's how Dougie's been lately, man. So if you could reach a Dougie and talk to him, go right ahead, man. I've been trying to reach him and stuff. But I can say this. When I noticed K Flock stopped following him after Dougie was posting pills on his story and talking reckless, the day after that, K Flock stopped following him. And I noticed, I've been watching from behind the scenes, and I noticed, I was like, I'm about to make a video on K Flock. He moving different. I've been peeping him, you know what I'm saying? But I just didn't want to make the wrong video, so I've been watching him. Next thing you know, I see a notification. I'm looking, and I see K Flock interview from jail with Hocus Full Fifth. Talking about how he no longer a gang member, encouraging the kids to put the guns down. He's the first inmate to be part of the Put the Guns Down movement in New York, you know what I mean? He a Muslim now. When Dirk said he wasn't a gang member, he was a Muslim. K Flock posted the same thing. He said, I'm not a gang member, I'm a Muslim. And let me tell you, doing that, that transition right there, it's not easy. I've been there. You know, you're going to have friends that are still going to be your friends. And you're going to have gang members that used to be your friends and no longer act like they're your friends. Or they don't treat you the same no more. You know what I mean? And then you got to kind of separate yourself from the negative. So you might have to start moving a little different. And it's, it's, it's a hard transition, man, especially in jail, especially coming off a gang. Because sometimes you don't know who to trust and, you know, what, what's what. Because some dudes is going to act like they don't got to ride with you no more, you know, because you're no longer a gang. And some dudes are still going to ride with you. They're going to show you love regardless. And that's how you know who's really for you. I've been there. I've, I've done that. I know, you know, you're going to have the little young knuckleheads trying to show off. Trying to act like you too soft because you no longer in a gang and now you're in church. You know, they're going to act like you soft because of that. You're going to have those little young heads that you might have to school. Or maybe you have to know, knuckle down and let them know, like, I'm still that. Don't don't get it twisted. I'm still a man. You know what I mean? You're not going to disrespect me. It happens, man. It's been there. I've done that. Just wanted to share with you guys, man, because it put a smile on my face, man, to know that K Flock and many other kids got a chance, man. It shows that a lot of parents' job didn't go unnoticed, you know. A lot of these kids got good parents. You know, they just they just choose to go the other way and, and do things, you know, and do knucklehead shit. But a lot of these kids got good parents that taught them better, you know. They want them to do good. They got praying grandmothers. K-Flock, Hocus Full Fifth interview. I'm going to pin the whole interview on my comment section so you guys can check out the whole conversation. I'm in the box as we speak, you hear me? I'm in the box as we talk right now, bro. Like, I got four rules around me. No, no, my window blocked. I can't see my family. For me, so I say, like, this shit not it, bro. Like, y'all don't want to go through this, but I got freedom. So appreciate y'all freedom for real, bro. Like, I'm in the box as we talk right now with four rules around me. I'm nothing less and nothing more. That's that. So y'all say, this shit, this shit not it, bro. This shit not.